live. Okay, hello. Hello, hello. and I've got Steph here from Renell's Body and Beauty. I've got that the way, right way around, haven't I? You have, yeah. Yes, I have. <laughs> now, Steph's, lovely Steph is going to be talking to me about um, her experiences of my taster sessions and what she's got out of them. So thank you very much for doing this. Um, so I just want to kick off just some, some background to you, Steph. What do you do? Um, and, you know, why you would need to be sort of looking to get some extra expertise for your marketing. Um, so, um, so I'm Steph from Renee's Body and Beauty. So what I do is I am a consultant for the body shop at home. And uh, I have a, a background in beauty therapy. I did beauty therapy for, for 10 years uh, until my skin decided that it was just going to react to life and I had to keep it up. Then I went into oh, HR. Man. Um, I looked after a bunch of delivery drivers for my sins um, and then I fell pregnant um, mm -hmm. and I was kind of thinking at the time of what I was going to be doing to boost up my maternity pay and um, a friend of mine was doing this so I thought you know what I never wanted to leave the beauty industry I loved being in beauty and this is kind mm -hmm. of a key way back into it for me Mm -hmm. um and the, the the little one that I was pregnant with at the time is now three and I've been doing this since I was seven months pregnant with him oh wow uh, so I've been doing it for a while now um and I loved going meeting people doing parties at people's homes doing corporates at people's businesses and stuff um and then as we all are aware last year something something rather epic happened and it's still happening <laughs> um and I had to adapt my way of working and yes, like lots of people do, yeah. Absolutely mm. utilizing social media more. I was using it in a way already. Mm -hmm. Um, but then all of my business then had to be virtual, like a lot of yes. people. Um, and whilst I like to think of myself as quite social media savvy. Mm -hmm. using social media for marketing purposes is something that was a little bit alien to me mm -hmm. and a little bit different and that's kind of where where you kind of came in then um and giving me a bit of tips and advice on how I can utilize my social media and my expertise mm -hmm. to to market to the right people yeah and that's a very interesting point because I am not a social media professional I'm not and I think this is where it comes into the the what I talk about is the marketing foundations and marketing concepts and you can actually use those across the different marketing you know would be it social media be it um you know print print marketing event marketing it's those concepts I can apply across everything so that's really interesting you said that so yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, um, so what may so that essentially that you needing that extra help with the social media because you had to go virtual because of the pandemic and you know all the challenges it's thrown at everybody. Um, so, is that what made you sign up for the first taster that you because, came on? Because whilst I've always been relatively quite good at selling, selling mm. in person is very different to selling virtually. Mm. Um, so I had to think a lot harder about my methods and how I was doing because obviously the approach online mm. is quite different to how you would do it face to face and in person. Mm -hmm. So I had to go from being able to pass a product around mm. for people to smell to then having to try and put that smell into people's heads without them physically having or being able to smell the product. That's a totally um, different skill set, isn't it? E. So in that way, the, the pandemic's been quite positive because mm. it has given me a brand new skill set to work mm. with. Um, but at the same time, when it all kicked off, um, I mean, I'm, no, I'm not the only one here that, that felt it was just kind of like, oh my word, what, what am I going to do? Mm. Um, how am I going to do this? How am I going to go from being with people to, to not? Mm. Um, and with the marketing one there was uh one in particular that that you did that really ran home with me was the the finding your ideal customer mm -hmm. and I still remember <laughs> you asking me who my ideal customer was and I was just like well anyone who washes is, is my <laughs> ideal customer and you did go yeah that, that's that's great but you know we you still need to to hone it in and kind of really think about know your ideal customer and kind of like your, your avatar and whatnot so I was just like that really got me thinking about 
who my ideal person is Mm -hmm. and that has um adapted in my way of kind of my wording that I use now Mm -hmm. that I utilize and even down to my messages to people as well it's had I've changed up a little bit I'm still me but I'm using Mm -hmm. I felt I was using professional wording already, but I've just kind of alternated it to sound how I would speak face to face, but written, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Um, so kind of, because you again, you're talking in a different, it's a different <laughs> environment, isn't it? It's a completely different environment to mm-hmm. to um, to doing things face to face, isn't it? Because you're talking to you're not you're not having a conversation necessarily with people straight, are you? You're having to mm-hmm you're they're there but they're not there if that makes sense and a couple of hours can pass in between the original question and yeah the follow-up as well so yeah it's a different and sort of understanding who you're talking to and having that clearer picture yeah you're saying that's actually helped absolutely Mm -hmm. so yeah yeah, yeah and also I think the point to make with also with the anybody who washes which is that's valid but what I say about the ideal client as well is it's about focusing your marketing so technically you can work with anybody who's washes so technically anyone who can wash you know don't turn them away they will they come to you and say you know can I have your your products but it's about you know focusing who you you know that messaging what you're saying who you're marketing to that's what the ideal client is about so actually having focus and and it's I love how have you because you who do you have in your mind now when you because I love the person you've picked that you have in your mind now when you're thinking about your ideal client (laughs) so my ideal client is basically the founder of the body shop which is Anita Roddick so (laughs) someone who is a little bit out there um who speaks their minds is an activist um and just loves the world that they're in and wants to provide um you know a fabulous world for generations to come and being very mindful on the impact that we are leaving behind Mm -hmm. our future generation so that's what I've kind of that's my my now what I'm working towards and that's who you have in mind when you're you're talking about because there's so many things you can say about when you're actually you know you're promoting the products and talking about them and so many different things and have you found it easier having that in mind and being able to Actually, play, have that focus? And it's worked in line of you know which which groups I may be advertising in as well so rather than just trying to advertise in all and sundry which mm. are already saturated with people like myself mm. it's looking at more specifically fall in line with my my ideal customer yeah yeah and the ideal customer is it very much again falls with your from what I understand your own values as well yeah as a person again why you're with the body shop and why you've chosen because again there could be so many different companies that you you could work with um but why you've picked the body shop Definitely. I mean, um, just the whole ethics and ethos of uh, of the brand mm. is something that resonates very much with myself and how myself and my family uh, mm-hmm. work as well. And as well, everybody knows knows the body shop as well. They know what the body shop stands for, and they know mm. that you know we like we like pushing boundaries as well. So. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> which is yeah, which is again that's very much you isn't it it's not some you're not somebody who sits safely in the middle no I'm, I'm definitely <laughs> quite quite alternative quite out there quite um a bit gobby <laughs> um, oh, yeah. so what what would you say to somebody um thinking about sort of they've just you know where before they were maybe sort of having doing bits of marketing here and there and you know they're looking to be more focused in doing their marketing and doing their planning and um you know actually planning their marketing rather than just having a go at it what would you say to them well some of the the key skills that I've I've picked up from yourself Hmm. the things like actually planning what the the content that you're going to create so rather Hmm. than just ad hoc doing it and doing what feels good at the time Mm. actually having a structure 
to mm. your marketing and your day so people know what to expect from you yeah um, so whether it's a website whether it's in person whether it's um, a Facebook group or whatever mm. media you're using it's having a clear plan Mm-hmm. um of what you're going to be doing and creating and putting out there because at the end of the day what you're putting out there is going to help people choose whether or not they're going to go with you whether they're going to make, mm-hmm. build that relationship with you mm-hmm. um but also for one of the other sessions that you did it's about the content you create is the the first step in that relationship mm-hmm. building and then how you take that into the relationship building mm-hmm. as well and then how you continue to build and create that relationship with, with your customer and make sure that you know they love you and stay with you yes oh that was the february one the valentine's one yes with yeah. Ada. <laughs> <laughs> oh brilliant thank you so again it's just it's just being focused planning um you know thinking of the impact of of what you're you're putting out there on on your potential customers as well Absolutely. okay and so for those of you that are watching us the next session is on the 11th of june um and i am rerunning a really popular one from january which is how having a marketing strategy can help you be a, become a better salesperson so again it's having that Amazing. whole yeah it's that one it's having the whole again it's that preparation and planning and the thing that all came out actually in the talk that I did earlier this week with Gronia who does again who's a sales who works with people on becoming more confident at sales so again it's it's again it's those planning those understanding that focus all the things that Steph's been talking about that's helped her as well and um, just making sure you have all those those pillars in place or those foundations in place um, to help uh, you know make you um, more focused and more clear in your marketing um do you have any tips because i know you you're very as you say with the planning um do you have any tips for anyone who's thinking what do you do to help you make sure because again it's one thing to say plan 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 but how do you actually fit it into your into your week uh, or to your day i do power hours mm. um because everything i do it has to fit in with a three-year-old mm. whirlwind who yeah. <laughs> thankfully sat watching pirate jay <laughs> um so I do power hours so in my power hours on one day I will look at the upcoming weeks Mm. um and see a what I want to promote um b um what theme days there may be because you'd be amazed at some of the theme days that there are out there there are some some interesting ones some Mm. ones and some why (laughs) do they exist (laughs) as well but they're out there Mm. um uh, so I'll spend one day, my power hour, actually thinking about what I'm going to be doing on those days. And then the next day, um, I will actually create that content and schedule it to go mm-hmm. onto my my social media. Um, I tend to have four scheduled posts in a day. So in the morning, I like to do quite a, a motivational post, kind of mm-hmm. a, a pick me up positivity post um then in the middle of the day I might do um sort of an interaction or a fun fact one and then at three whatever I didn't do at the middle of the day I'll do the the reverse Mm. and then in the evening will be where I kind of do my my salesy post so Mm -hmm. I don't want to be too over salesy I kind of I like to do the sort of the 80 20 rule when it comes Mm. to things like that so I, and I want my group to be a positivity hub, a fun mm. fact hub, a, a life hack hub, um, and with the odd offer and mm-hmm. and sale thrown in there as well. Um, so people like being in there. That's kind of what I want to do because I've been in groups that have just literally been focused on sales and mm. people switch off. Yeah. Um, so it's definitely having those power hours, put the phone away or switch it off, put it on mm. silence. Um, and don't go onto your social media to scroll literally go on and set have those set power mm. hours where you're going to be doing your work and it makes the world a difference it does it does so Actually, um, yeah that's my uh, that's something it's... I've been working on over the last few few months really and what I'm going to be doing on oh. the platform <laughs> mm. that's brilliant that's really really good and so and again I what I look like because again you say you do the different types of posts but that's you from what I understand you go in and you, you look and you understand 
how your followers are looking at the different types of posts and how they react to the different. So it's actually understanding your customers and their behaviors as well to actually understand which posts work best at different types of paper day and within which frequency as well. Definitely. So um, I tend to do my motivational posts all between seven and eight o'clock. That's mm. where most of my my group seem to be scrolling through social media, I guess, mm. whilst they're having their morning coffee or mm -hmm. you know, they've, they've settled everybody and everyone's having their breakfast and stuff. Mm -hmm. and they're having that five minutes of peace uh, mm -hmm. for themselves, if that ever exists first thing in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then my my midday one is usually around the lunchtime period mm. where people have stopped and will be going through and maybe you need a bit of a pick me up as well because let's face it mm -hmm. by lunchtime if you've had a manic morning you want something mm. that's going to make you smile yeah and that's generally what I quite I try to do so whether it's a fun fact whether it's uh, an interaction one mm -hmm. um so today uh, my my interaction one has been um a particular product um including some limited edition ones that we've had you know if we could bring anyone back when which one would it be sort of thing and that's got yeah thinking and um oh, brilliant. read with me as well which is good um, and then uh this afternoon um I've got um I've actually got um a review lined up so I've gone through all of my old reviews and I'm bringing mm. them back to life mm -hmm. um so I've created a, a new post which has all my branding colors and stuff on there as well mm -hmm. um with the customer picture and feedback mm -hmm. uh, so that's something I've been working on over the, sort of the last week so, I've had a few so people can actually see that it's not just myself saying the stuff is good I have you no know, I have people that have used it and love the yeah too. um that's part of taking them on that journey isn't it that we went through absolutely. in February mm -hmm. um and then in the evening I normally put my my sales posts around about eight o'clock when everything's kind of died down for the evening people are starting to sit down chill for the evening mm -hmm. and they scroll through scroll through their phones because that's what we're all guilty of sit down put the telly on and we're actually focusing more on our phones <laughs> uh, on the telly um and then once a week I do a Q&A session and that's well. this evening isn't it it's Thursday evening, isn't it yeah, yeah it's Thursday tonight <laughs> so do you want to share the name of your group if anyone's interested in coming finding out more absolutely so my group is really Al's body and beauty with Steph Fraser uh mm. so really Al is what my name would be if I wasn't a character in Lord of the Rings that's just brilliant this. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but I'm actually not a Lord of the Rings fan. I just wanted something quirky and different. And that was, <laughs> <laughs> that was the suggestion. I went with it. Oh, I thought you were a cl um, closet Tolkien fan now. <laughs> I'll, I'll watch it. But no, I, I, I don't mind watching it, but it's not my not my first choice. Okay. Give me, give me Disney anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, that's my group. And you can pop questions on on the stream yard and I will be able to answer them during the during the 30 minutes that I'm on live for. Oh brilliant. So is that all is there anyone's got so if anyone's listening to this now and joins your group and wants to come on and have got it? So what kind of questions do people usually I ask? Answer anything. So mm. no hold bars, which could mm -hmm. be quite they can be quite dangerous. <laughs> um but now if you want to know about a certain product a certain mm. um routine mm -hmm. um you know if people are interested in finding out more about what they do mm -hmm. um they think i like to do on a daily basis maybe or um i did answer one the other week which was what was my favorite sting song all right um, okay <laughs> is anything no hold bars no holds bars. yeah so you know <laughs> I've had I've had no what's my favorite I did um I had a headshot photo shoot uh, a couple of months back and mm -hmm. I, I had to pick in the question was what are you drinking in in, in the picture sorry um, can you say that one again because so we lost you pretty much sorry we lost you can you say that again because okay. we lost you all of a sudden <laughs> uh, so um the, the picture that I had to promote yeah. the, the yeah. Q&A question was um, me holding a, a mug of hot chocolate, but yeah. I was asked what it was that I was drinking. So uh, <laughs> that, was, that was that one. Um, and I've, I've had some unusual ones, which mm. I've had to deal with very delicately because I know there are some people that watch with their children. Yes. Um, so I've been been asked some, some interesting <laughs> questions, which um, 
I, I will I will deal with in a, a positive but professional manner. <laughs> no, yes. <laughs> um, but it is always good fun, um, especially I've got regular people that come on and watch, and then some people just throw in some ad hoc questions in there yeah. as well. So yeah. I just I I just think it's it's brilliant. It just gave opportunity if they have a question, they keep forgetting to message me, maybe. Mm-hmm. It just gives them a platform to to ask that question. Um yeah. Uh, it's yeah. all about building the relationship with you, isn't it? And again, um, and going back, it's, it's that desire piece in in the, the model that I was showing back in February. But yeah, it's very much about um, helping people get to know you better, who you are as well. Yeah. So thank you, Steph. That's awesome. really some really useful tips from you as well and how you're doing it. And the, the planning the power, planning power hours um, are great. They're great. I have 30 minute slots, but you do need that time is so important. If you're dedicating that time in your diary to, to work on your business rather than in it is so important in moving things forward and just the structure that you've put in place for your social media as well. The, the, the other tip that I, I have that I've picked up over mm. the last couple of weeks uh, or a couple of months is having a brain dump book mm. where I will literally just anything that's in my brain at the end of the night, I will just put into this book mm. and I will actually utilize what I've written down to plan what I'm going to do within that power hour or if it's a day where little man's at preschool mm. then I can actually go right okay I've got these hours here mm-hmm. and actually structure my day with it as well and it has just made me so much more productive mm. in that rather than coming to my computer and kind of staring at like <laughs> waiting for something to magically happen um and be like you know come on I've got this stuff in my head just materialize and do something <laughs> yeah yeah no, it's, yeah and it never comes out on demand does it it always it comes out when you yeah so that is brilliant that's a really really good tip the brain dump book yeah and it's just just no no can be anything chronic an old notebook an old um, so this is one that I actually was given by one of my teenies and her daughter created the, the sticky oh so, um, but yeah, it's just a perfectly, brilliantly lined book, nice and big as well. And it's mm. just, I would yeah, just you can see you, your brain dumping in there. Fantastic. Um, well, lovely. Thank you for coming on. Thanks for doing okay. this. And yeah, it's been lovely chatting. And I look forward to um, seeing, you know, in your group as well, because I'm a member of your group. And um getting onto one of your Q&As at some point as well. Amazing. So yeah, yeah they, sound, <laughs> they sound fast. I haven't had a chance to get on yet. So I'm gonna, they sound fascinating. I'm interested to see some of these questions. So if anyone else is interested, it's, what's the group again? And you're Mini on tonight. Owls, Body and Beauty. And what time um, is it? It'll be at eight o'clock. Eight o'clock tonight, the next one. Okay, well, thank you very much, Steph. And thank also you. I look forward to seeing you on, when you can make it onto the next. So yeah, um, yeah, I will be on the 11th. So, You'll be on the 11th. So if I don't see you before. <laughs> <laughs> which I'm sure you because I think we have Definitely. Athena we're in the same Athena group so I think we have Athena before then but yeah, yeah so we'll have that yeah. day before won't we? <laughs> yeah I think we do so yeah we'll see you then so okay Perfect. so thanks everybody for watching um and um until next time bye-bye bye